Hi, in this video, I will be showing you how to adjust the MTU size on your MicroTip device. It is going to be about setting the Jumbo MTU size on MicroTip devices. Jumbo MTU is MTU size from 1501 to 9000. It's a technique that service providers use to carry Jumbo frames from one segment of the network to the other. So in this simple topology you can see on your screen, I am going to start off by configuring the IPs. So I have the routers from M1 to M5. And presently I am logged on via the console to router M1. So the first thing I'm doing here is to set up the IP address and to put a simple default route. Then I will move to router M2. Here, I'm going to log in, set a new password for the router. After that, I'm going to configure the interfaces. The first interface will be the interface that connects to router M1. And then the second interface connects to router M2. I'm setting the IP address for the interface that connects to router M1. And that's on interface Ether2. The second is the IP address that connects me to router M3 and that is on interface ETA1. Hit the enter key then set the route statement. Now here I'm going to configure a static route for reaching the network that is connected to router M3 and that's network 3.3.3.0 slash 30. Great. Now, having done this, I'm going to move on to router M3. So here on router M3, I'm going to log in and set a new password. The MicroTik router from router OS 7.0 comes with a default username of admin, but then you are going to be asked to set the new password. So I have set the password and now I'm configuring the interfaces. There are two interfaces on router M3. One connects to router M2 and the other connects to router M4. The IP addresses have been configured on Ether1 and Ether2. Now I'm going to put a route statement. The route statement is for router M3 to be able to reach the network connected to router M1 and M2. And that is network 1.1.1.0 slash 30. Now it's time to test reachability. So from router M3, we can reach router M1. Now I am connected to router M4. I'll set the IP address on the interface connecting to router M3. And then I'll configure a default route for router M4 to reach the other networks. Great. Now, reachability test to 1.1.1.1 succeeds. That is the network between M1 and M2. Now let's ping with an increased MTU size of 9000. Successful. Now let's set the do not fragment bit to yes. And we can see that it is not successful. This is because we have not adjusted our MTU to jumbo size yet. So as you can see, it's at the default 1500 bytes. Now let's adjust the MTU across the devices that our packet will transverse. 
So the first thing you might want to do is to print your interface list and it shows you the column number. This is when you are doing this via the console, the command line. So having gotten your column number, you simply enter the command interface ethernet set mtu equals to 9000 and choose your column number to have it applied to that interface. So do the same thing across all the devices on M3, on M2, on M1, have them set on M4. Great. Now let's get it done on M1. We print the interface list, get the column number, apply the command interface ethernet set mtu equals 9000 and enter the interface column number so we are back on router m4 the same ping command the same do not fragment bit set to yes we can now see that it is succeeding jumbo mtu is important if you are a service provider allows you to carry jumbo frames on your network without the need for fragmentation and defragmentation thereby speeding up your delivery time while reducing overhead thanks for watching and see you in my next video